Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to create open core EFI for your PC, so before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates, so guys let's start, for this purpose you'll require, OCGenX and basic info about your PC. After gathering OCGenX and info about your hardware, open OCGenX. Now here, select your system type. Depending on your processor, like for 10th generation processors, it will be Comet Lake. After the selection of system type, go to Kex tab. And here, make sure that both the Kex are selected, as it's mandatory. Now go to Virtual SMC Plugins tab. Here, all the texts are for hardware sensing. SMC Battery Manager will be used, if you're using laptop. After moving to Graphics tab, make sure to select whatever green text, as it's also mandatory. Also you'll need to use boot arcs, if using Navi Graphics Card. Now, moving to Audio tab, make sure to select Apple ALC text. Depending on your audio codec, you can easily find the codec, on Motherboard's manufacturer's site and link to the list of ALC IDs will be in the description. Next to that, select the Ethernet KEX depending on Ethernet controller. You can easily find it on Motherboard's manufacturer's site. After selecting right Ethernet KEX, move to next tab, and here make sure to select, USB inject all KEX. However, I recommend you to map all of your USB ports, as it's a temporary solution. If you're using AMD PC, the KEX is not needed. The next thing we're going to cover is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If you are using any card which works out of the box, then it's not needed. But if using any card which is not fully supported, you'll need some of the texts. However, all of these fixes will only work for Broadcom chips. Moving to the Extras tab. Here it's, Apple MCE Reporter Disabler Kext. This Kext disables Apple Intel MCE Reporter, which may cause panic on startup. Now moving to the Firmware Drivers tab. Make sure to select both the drivers. Without open runtime, your PC will not boot. And without HFS plus EFI driver, you will not be able to see any of the HFS Plus volumes, including the USB installer, in Open Core Boot Picker. If you have hardware, which uses Legacy BIOS, then deselect the drivers in UEFI tab, and select all the drivers in Legacy tab. After that, here comes choosing the right SM BIOS, choose the SM BIOS which is closest to your CPU model, and iMac Pro 1,1, will be used for all AMD PCs. You can find the SM BIOS list in Open Core Configurator. After select the SM BIOS, at last it comes additional boot arcs. Here I don't recommend you to use any arcs, but to detect the panic, you must enable verbose mode. For that, use dash V, and other two args will help you out, if you will be getting any error. After all things done, click on Generate EFI, and the EFI will be generated to the destination. Click on OK, and close OC Gen X. And now there is one more thing to do. You will need to use both the SSDTs, as it's mandatory for proper functioning of power management and USB power too. The SSDTs will be placed in a CPI folder. You can obtain it from Open Core Package. So guys, here it's full working guide on creating Open Core EFI for Mac OS Big Sur. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And for more updates stay connected and have a great day.